last video I showed you how to get all the settings from Facebook that we needed for Easy Fan Page Generator to enter our first fan page. We typed in the name in this box here and just pressed Add New Fan Page and that generated our record for us here with all the settings already on. And all we then did was we pasted in here the fan page ID. We pasted in the app ID and the app secret key. Those three values we took from Facebook. What I'm now going to do is show you how we put some content on the page. So we come down here to this header section, this edit section here, and we can type some text in there, or I can take some text that I've already put into a notepad and just copy and paste into here. Um, let's make this box a little bit larger so we can see what's going on. Uh, maybe a little bit larger still. That's good, yes. Um, so let's just save that information. Notice these settings down here. Um, these are the settings that tell you everything you need to know to set it up in Facebook itself. Um, but we, did, we covered those in the last video. So we press update. Let's go across to Facebook and see what's happened now. We had a blank page because we put no content in yet. Let's just refresh Facebook. And now we have content. The content that we pasted in. Very, very simple. Um, let's try and jazz this up just a little tiny bit. So we'll go back to our page settings in Easy Fan Page Generator. Uh, come down to our editor. Um, before we do that, let's look at some of the other settings. Maybe we wanted to change the background colour. In which case, I just choose a background colour here. I want on this particular one. Uh, maybe you want to change the font family. Maybe you want to uh, use Times Roman instead of Verdana. Um, let's just, to, to make it look a little bit different. Uh, cursive. Let's try cursive. That's quite a nice looking font. Uh, let's change the colour. Uh, what's what sort of some sort of blue color maybe? Um, we won't bother with the menus at the moment. Um, let's make this into a heading. Let's make these names of cars into a bulleted list. Uh, maybe we'll make this into some different colored text. Um, Let's make that an orange colour. Um, let's see, let's, let's make our telephone stand out a little bit. We'll underline it and make it bold. Yes. Oh, I took the underline off. Let's put the underline back on. Yeah. Let's maybe make this into italic. Just to make the page look a little bit different. we we'll save that. And let's go to Facebook and just refresh it Facebook. And sure enough, we've got something that looks a little bit nicer here at Facebook. Maybe we wanted a header in this section here, something like that. Let's go back to our editor. And let's, let's put a, a header in there. So we'll put it above this here. Um, so we've just insert here, we'll add an image using the actual WordPress system here. So I've got one here I uploaded before. Um, what do I want to do here? Let's just take away that link and we'll just insert that into the post. Um, let's make sure it's centered. Let's also center this uh, heading here. And that's it. Let's just now update. And let's pop across to Facebook and get Facebook to refresh. And now we started getting quite a nice looking page already. Just very, very simple. That was, that was all you need to do to create your first fan page looking like that. In the next one, the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, tabbed content. Um, and it's very, very simple, very easy to use, so watch the next video.